they were not only killed, but their bodies were also decapitated. The unfortunate incident occurred when the troops responded to a distress call after the communal crisis between the Okwama and Okoloba communities, both in Delta State. It recognizes that the tragic incident involving the attack on military personnel from the 181 amphibious battalion during a peace mission to Okwama community in Delta State underscores the urgent need for justice and accountability without resorting to retribution. Worried that the understaffing of the Nigerian police has made Nigeria's military to take over internal policing duties such as organized crime, oil theft, communal crisis, kidnapping, banditry, and other pol policy responsibilities. What happened in Delta was not an accident. It was a designed and well orchestrated effort to kill our military men. And it was done in a very barbaric way, very bestial. Mr. President, those who did that deserve to be condemned. But I believe that this Senate and indeed the National Assembly should also be looking at the direction of reducing our military from conducting police actions and activities. What, how do you do that? I believe we must insist on getting more and more policemen to be recruited. Just like we also need more military. Join uh, other colleagues and I think everyone in this Senate and across our country in condemning the very sad and dastardly act uh, that was committed against officers and men of our country's uh, military. It's not every day, even in a war situation, it's not every day a country suffers this kind of loss, even in a war, even during war times. All in all, uh, it's a terrible development, a very sad day for our country and our country's military. A Lieutenant Colonel, two majors, and others died in one fell swoop. It's a very sad loss, and we commiserate, and it's appropriate for us to commiserate with them and direct an inquiry. Mr. President, Nigeria, this is crunch time for our country. And we must always ensure that whatever thing that we're doing, we must be tolerant with one another. A situation where this number of soldiers will be killed in one swap is highly regrettable. Soldiers are meant to protect the life and property of our citizenry. And even the communities themselves are supposed to have tolerance in dealing with such issues. Very sensitive issue, Mr. President. It is very sensitive, and we must handle it in the manner that it will not escalate. You will, you will recall the incidents of OD in the past. We don't want such occurrence in our system, in our country at this point in time, because the entire country is heated up. Anything that will make it to heat up more, we should not allow that to happen. Uh, it's a very sad development. I think the Senate awaits the outcome of the investigations. So I'll urge the, the committees on defense, committee on army, committee on navy, and the committee on uh, air force combined to liaise with the military to find out, to obtain for uh, first hand for us the outcome of the investigation on uh, in respect of these dastardly killings. Yeah, because I don't think these people are Niger Deltans. We are not at war, even in a period of war, to lose such number of personnel. No community will go to the extent of doing this kind of thing. I don't think they are from Niger Delta. So I think the first point should be that we should first establish 
the, the, the culprits who committed this crime. We must take it seriously. Supposing they are not from Niger Delta, supposing they are not even Nigerians, and we now come and talk about giving relief materials to uh, people, who have a, people should uh, for the consequences of their crimes. I will not support relief material.